Ah. Uh, little help? Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Super Happy Fun Time Show. Brought to you today by our sponsors, the Corporate Kiwi, the Number 3, and the people who live in the shadows that control your life. Today we're going to be playing Rampage on the NES, which is a game. That's pretty much all you need to know. If you don't know anything else about this game, well, you're about to find everything out. <laughs> this is it. I mean, <laughs> this is pretty much it. You're a monster. There are cities and buildings and people. You attack everything, and hopefully you don't die. All right, let's do this. We're going to have fun. Oh, God, this game takes me... <laughs> I, I fell off a collapsing building that was, like, less than my body height. Oh, God. That's that's amazing. I haven't played this game in forever. Special special thanks to the goddamn Kiwi's brother for being the person that originally owned or purchased or got this for the birthday. I, I don't know how this game came into the household, but this was many, many, many years ago, and I know it wasn't mine, but I found it, and I'm playing it now. I mean, it, it doesn't get much better than this. It's it's just classic, you know, arcade action. You got one of two monsters you can potentially use, and your whole goal is to just wreck your way across the entire country. Um, I'm playing Lizzie, the lizard, but apparently Lizzie is also a girl who got mutated by something. God, that truck was annoying as shit. Um, yeah, there's like brief little blurbs at the start of the game. Says so something like, oh, uh, George and blah blah whatever vitamins and Lizzie blah blah something else equally stupid. I. It, this, this is one of those games that was just clearly, oh hey, here's, here's an existing video game from the 80s with no real logic to it. Why don't, why don't we just port this over to the NES because that's the next big thing. And goddamn, they were right. <laughs> I think at some point they made a Nintendo 64 Rampage game of some sort. Well, look at this guy. This little army dude walking his dynamite down the down the block. I don't even know if it's possible to eat the dude without eating his dynamite. I don't know. There, there's really not much to this game, but somehow I'm still managed to be pretty bad at this game from time to time. Ha! <laughs> Love it. I, I love when I get the pause screen of my monster just vomiting up whatever failure they've tried to ingest. So for those of you at home who still haven't managed to figure out what the hell the entire point of this game is, uh, it's just wow. Um, but hey, hey, I'll throw you a bone here. I'll throw you a bone here. Uh, you're a giant monster. You're in a city. You're wrecking the shit out of everything as fast and hardcore as possible. Buildings get destroyed after a set number of, uh, I don't know, windows, zones, whatever you want to call them, get destroyed. And they're always relative to the actual size of the building. So pretty much you get one entire side of the building out. That's that's as many spaces. Now it doesn't have to all be from the side. As I'm, oh god, look at this. I'm actually I'm actually explaining shit in the game. See, I took the other punch from the other side of the building. The important thing was the number, not the actual location and shit. Oh, I'm in Fresno now. Oh, that's right. I started in California for whatever reason. What the what is? Oh, that was that was the low health sound. Well, the first of the low health sounds, because you c 
trying to get that one. And it's kind of like Zelda, like, when you get super low, then you start getting the real annoying, like, continuous blah blah bullshit sounds. Like, oh god, you're dying, you're dying, you're dying, you're dying. It's supposed to let you know you're dying and encourage you to, you know, do something about it. I couldn't even tell you how many games that have an effect like that. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to let my character die because I'm tired of hearing that noise. And it's a lot faster to die than it is to try to get a health item. Controls on this game are a little, a little weird. There's all kinds of stupid shit that can end up happening. <laughs> Uh, especially if you just keep punching things furiously and eating the random skulls people apparently uh, keep in their houses. I, I don't know. Oh, shit. Yeah, those little assholes walking their dynamite down the street, they, they cause you problems because they'll just flat out blow up buildings because they're like, oh, you're not going fast enough. The game is too fucking slow, one player to actually take out buildings as fast as they want you. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to throw in a little uh, something here just for his face palm there when he fell off the building because it's just too good. Like, how, how many games do you know of that had face palms in the fucking 80s? That was, that was kind of a genius little moment that, Okay, don't know how I ended up walking over the top of both of these buildings, but, you know, I don't know whatever. You know what? Mm. Yeah, let's take out the middle of this building for a second. Honestly, I think this game was a lot better playing it with my brother back in the day, co-op. Like, it's, it's not particularly hard or anything, but it's... It was just somehow much more fun with two people running through just kind of stupid bullshit like this. Oh, oh, look at this. We've taken out California. California is gone. Well, not entirely gone. If I remember correctly, as soon as we clear out another region, similarly to this first one, uh, California actually turns a different color. And there's a reason for that, which makes sense, because logic and stuff. Oh god, I'm almost dead. Um, oh yeah, like a million years ago in this video, I was going to describe how... Ah, uh, yep. You, you don't exactly die in this game, but... Oh, shit. Oh, shit, that was a cop car. I forgot about the cops in this game. The cops are assholes. Um, but, yeah, you, you don't really get dying in this game a lot of the time, but you get these weird, like... You turn back into the human that you used to be before you turn into the giant mutant monster that's wrecking the entire United States of America. I think he's taking out, yeah, he's taking out a black building, whatever. Much some more snackages for health. Oh, man, it's a sailboat, which isn't a sailboat. It's actually a dude in a bathtub. And uh, God, this... <laughs> This game plays so brutally sometimes. You you can tell that it was an arcade game that got ported by people who may or may not have interest in uh, doing things correctly. <laughs> well, shit, at least we're in Las Vegas. Ah, uh, yeah. Who, who could totally forget the scenic Las Vegas Strip that has the World Trade Center? In the background of the world famous Green Building Casino. I, I, I've got nothing. I've got nothing. I, I don't even know that I'm going to have bullshit random pictures to put up for that. Ah, oh, this game. This, this fucking game. What is it, a plant? I, I don't know. You can eat hats. There are random things that aren't edible, but they're 
weapons, maybe they kind of shoot out like they're gonna hit people and God and all the trajectories of the the opponents, they're just brutal. Like this this is the sort of game that would make Castlevania go, huh, you know what? We we could have we could have fucked people over a lot more. Oh shit, bonus round. Don't exactly remember how this works, but I think the idea is oh, there it is. You destroy a library and find the one book and you get all your health back. Because monsters reading for health makes as much sense as my underwater sprite there just did. What the fuck was that? Oh well. God, this... I think that was a photographer just stunned me by taking a picture somehow. I, I, oh man, I, I haven't even gotten to it like half the weird, stupid things that can happen in this game. For instance, you can climb buildings from the ground pretty easily, no problem there. Occasionally, you can jump up to the sides of buildings and, you know, start climbing them, like right there. But it's very easy to entirely fuck up something as simple as, hey, there's a building in front of me, and I'm going to jump onto it. <laughs> Just like you can apparently fall off the same building twice, because why not? Why not? There's not even an option to climb onto buildings while you're falling, but somehow you can fall off the same building twice. So let's see. If if I can survive long enough, not looking good so far. Let's eat a person and his turkey dinner. Let's eat that guy's cold meds or whatever the fuck I just took from that building. Blow this fucker up. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to die so much soon. This... It's so, like, I, I swear, the the little, like, lines that are being thrown, I, I always thought they were, like, cigarette butts or something. I, I don't fucking know. They've got the worst trajectory ever, because they fly towards you. And then if you happen to somehow manage to change your actual position while they're throwing, I swear to God, they adjust their trajectories to fuck you over that much more. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. The ta the tank. The tanks are worse than everything ever because it's nearly impossible to jump out of the way of them and your character model is so huge that even getting close to did, did I just teleport? What the fuck? That, that teleports news to me, and this is a game that I've seen weird, glitchy shit in for decades. Like, I don't know. Alright, I'm, I'm pretty much out of... <sighs> how, much, how much more damage am I going to take? God damn. God, those fucking tanks. You, you, you can tell that this is just, you know, a quarter-eater game. A tank attacked me like five times in a row. In, oh my god, there's another fucking tank. I haven't even gotten to the point where I can show you like shenanigans off the buildings. Fuck it, this entire level, this is going to be shenanigans for a while. So, look at this. You can, you can jump onto a building. I showed you that. But look what happens if you don't have the timing right. You... You just bounce off the building if you don't remember to let go of the up button to grab onto the building and then start walking up. No, you have to hold onto it to grab onto it, and then you have to let go so that you grab onto it, and then you have to hit it again so you start climbing up. Like, I make it look easy, but again, I've, I've had literal decades of time to play this game, and I can make that look good. Of course, I've had decades of time to play this game, and I'm 
making everything else look like shit. And I'm sure there's at least three pro speedrunners who are like, Hey man, you totally fucked up the bonus level. Also, did you know if you punch this window in this building, then you fucking... Fuck you, I don't care. I, I don't care. You're probably full of shit and just making things up because you're that kid in school who's like, Well, my dad works in Nintendo and he told me this. And this is... Fuck you. God, I don't... Speaking of fuck you, I don't, e I don't even want to bring Lizzie back. Lizzie the stupid fucking lizard. Oh yeah, and there's helicopters that drop little nukes on you and shit. I totally forgot about that aspect. Why not? How much more shit can I... You know, honestly, I think when I played this game as a kid, most of my fun derived from just, you know, you know, there's there's co-op carnage with my brother. But moments like this where I just ended the game, it's like, yeah, sniff my pits, I'll just wreck Nevada. Like, that's the entire reason I love this game. And what do you know? I called it, I called it, California has just turned a different color. And as far as I know, and I, I only played this game long enough to uh, find this out once, but apparently, if you destroy the entire country, you yeah, start all over again. But then the regions you destroy just turn different colors instead. Because, you know, arcade game got ported fucking... You know what, I think I've said that three times now, and I have never actually confirmed whether or not this is actually a port. So, this part of the video is dedicated to whether or not I'm absolutely wrong. And now that we all know the truth, uh... I don't, I don't know what the point of those little white squares are. I think they might be microwaves. The the other things, I think, are potted plants. I don't know. They, they fly out of buildings. They look like they should hit people and destroy them, but they, they just don't do shit. They, they don't do a goddamn thing. Oh, God. Neon signs. I love these. You can't climb up them. And if you try to break them, you know what happens? You get electrocuted and take a fuck ton of damage. Because quarter-eating arcade machine. I I'm not even going to hit B this time. This is what happens if you don't button mash B and spend points to recover. You turn into one of the humans again. What's really fucking funny is that if you're actually in co-op, your, po your, your opponent... Your, well, there would be an opponent at this point. But the other player totally can eat you. Gain health back for themselves. Alright, this was another super happy fun time show. Next time, we'll be doing something equally just thing and stuff. Deuces.